So everybody wants to buy the dip until the dip actually happens. Happy bloody Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Days like today is when money gets transferred over from the impatient to the patient. I am glad to finally see all the bears finally out of hibernation for the first time in how long? And of course they show up with their typical, I called this short, haha, ha, I'm the best trader ever. Haha, ha, Bitcoin is dead, I told you bro. Hey, what's up guys, Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become a profitable and successful trader. On this channel, we typically cover market analysis, trade ideas and tutorials on how to trade to help you guys reach that next level. So make sure to subscribe, like and share this video guys as we continue to push this community and continue to push the adoption of cryptocurrencies in the future. So the first thing that we're covering today is a recap of the trades that we gave you guys on Friday. All right guys, if I can direct your attention to the little green box right here, we will speak about the bigger box soon, I promise. So, so on Friday, we gave you guys two trades. One entry was on a 41,000 breakout. The second entry was on a dip to around 38 to 39,000. So first we're gonna talk about the 41K breakout entry. Um, as you guys can see, it did happen here. Uh, you guys can see right here, this candle. Um, we had a breakout there um, and we had the same breakout again here on that candle. Hold on, that was a messed up circle on that candle, which reached ended up reaching around 41,500. So if you guys were able to take that trade, hopefully you guys uh, took some profits along the way and uh, use your trail stops. Uh, we did, as you guys can see here in our trade room, uh, we did take this trade and we were able to take some profits on it. It was only a 12% profit, but 12% is 12%, you know? So that second entry was um, the 38K entry. So we spoke about a dip, if there was a dip to the bottom of this channel. Remember we spoke about the bottom of the channel right here. So you guys saw the, the dip to the bottom of this channel and then you saw the jump up. So we took a dip. Remember how we said we like to enter these positions on the bounce back up, not while it's dipping. So it dipped and then when it bounced back up on this candle right here, we were, we were able to take an entry at 38K. As you guys can see here on the signal in our trade room, um, we, um, we signaled the 38K entry on the bounce back up and we were able to take profits here on, at that 39K range. Uh, for a thousand dollar, it was a thousand dollar move, which ended up resulted in a uh, twenty six point three percent profit. If you were able to take profits towards the top there, if not, you at least took profits somewhere before, hopefully before the way down. So um, that was another profitable trade that we took over the weekend here. The big move that we're happy to catch for you guys was on Ethereum. So on Ethereum, we told you guys a break of twelve fifty. Um, we were entering that trade, right? So that break was right at this box. As you guys can see, um, it was right above these candles right here. And we broke exactly as we spoke about there. And we ran up all the way to about 1350. Right at 1350 was where, where the rejection was. So that move ended up being a 40% profit if you use 5X leverage on it. And if you're able to uh, sell at the top, if you sold anywhere in between, you still made some good profits on it. So now with that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about these red boxes here that I've drawn on the chart. So I made a post yesterday pointing out this, this weekly cycle that's been going on for the last one, two, three, four weeks. So for about the past month or so, um, we've had the same exact cycle every Sunday and Monday. Every time that we've gone uh, from Sunday to Monday, it's been typical uh, to see a sell-off at some point during one of either both those days or one of those two days. So on, so this Sunday, we had a 5% drop-off from a high of 41527 to a low of 34,900. And then today uh, we had a, we've had a 14% drop off so far um, 
to a low of 30,377. Now, everybody's panicking a bit because it's bigger than our prior drops. Um, our, our drop last Monday was a 3% drop it is what it ended up being. But prior to that, it was a bigger drop. The same thing with the week before that. Uh, we had a drop that Sunday. Um, the week before that, we had a drop that Sunday and Monday. So we've had drops every single weekend on either Sunday or Monday or on both days. It's been a pattern for the past month. Um, and this is something we made a post about this on Instagram. Uh, we spoke about this in our trade room. Um, so it was it was something that was expected. And um, obviously the amount, we don't know what the amount is, you know. I think that now as more and more retail traders are entering the space, they're uh, introducing more volatility into the space as well. Because retail traders at the end of the day are the ones who panic when there's a move or some sort of correction because they don't understand the market. So if you notice after every single drop off, we the price went right back up. There you go. Drop off, price went up, drop off, price went up, drop off, price went up. And this this is this week's drop off. So um, we're expecting a bounce here. If you notice here, we bounced right here, which is what? Boom, that's 61.8%. That's that's the golden ratio in Fibonacci, right? So that's a very, very big area where we should see a lot of price actions in both directions. But we should definitely be seeing a lot of buyers there. As you guys can see, not only is that the golden ratio right there, but that's the 30,000 mark. What does that mean? That's a huge market psychological number. 30,000 is a huge whole number. That means a lot of buyers are going to be coming back in at 30K. If, as you guys can see right now, 30K is the low on this drop and we saw a bounce. So all of this is connected. You guys can see it's connected to the 61.8% level connected to the huge psychological number. So this is a huge number that we're watching right now to hold here, right? Now, of course, there's no sure thing in trading. There's no sure thing in investing. You're just trying to, to find the most profitable setup possible where the probabilities are in your favor. That's what you're doing when you're a trader. You're, there's never going to be a 100% guaranteed trade, right? But because I understand market psychology, I understand Fibonacci levels, I understand um, retracements. I entered a small position here at that 30K level and for my long-term investments, because I know that that's a high probability setup that, and there's a high chance that uh, Bitcoin is going to bounce at $30,000. Now, in the event that Bitcoin does not bounce at 30 and we continue lower, then the next level that we're looking at is right here, that 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level, which as you guys can see, was also right here where we had a bounce last week during the drop off, which is around that 27 to $28,000 range. And it's also last week's weekly lows so there will be a lot of buyers coming into the market right here so that's something else that you guys should be prepared for that's something else that we're watching if if the price were to continue down this is where we're going to continue to a uh, dollar cost average as i've we've spoken about, about a lot um and we're going to continue adding to our long-term positions now when trading in these conditions you have to be very very careful um because there's a lot of volatility going on right now and it could jump either way very, very fast and it could liquidate your position or stop you out very fast. So if you're entering anything, you should probably be make sure 100% you should be using a stop loss. Number two is be aware of where your liquidation price is. If for any reason your stop doesn't hit or the price moves before your, your stop is set up. Number three, you should probably not be trading with leverage right now because these dips are the opportunities to add to your long term investments. So that's what we've currently been doing. We've been adding to our long term investments that we don't trade. We just hold in these conditions. You've got to be patient, guys. You don't have to be in every single move in both directions. You just got to be patient and wait for your shot. You got to be like a sniper in these conditions. You got to be just just waiting for that one trade. Bah! Pop it. Take your profits, boom, move out. You know what I mean? 
All right, so looking at Ethereum, you could kind of see the same thing right here. In Ethereum, the same thing, guys. A lot of volatility on Sunday and Monday. Uh, remember, it's very correlated with Bitcoin, so it kind of more or less follows its price action. So although we're currently down about 19% today, don't forget that year to date, Ethereum is up 36%, guys. You can see right here, year to date, Ethereum is up 36%. In the past year, it's up 391%. It's easy to forget in times like these high short sellers. So here we're looking at the same thing. Ethereum dropped down to this 61.8% Fibonacci level. You can see the bounce right here. And currently it's just broke back up and above a thousand, which is also happens to be above this 0.5 Fibonacci level, which also happens to coincide with that $1,000 mark guys. So as you guys know, 1000 is a very big whole number in the market. Um, you know, when it comes to market psychology, people love that number. So I definitely like this trade here at uh, 1000 for long term positions. Um, this was the other that 68.1 percent Fibonacci level was the other place for entry for long term positions. And it's only a matter of time, guys, before we get right back to where we were and test these these all time highs. This is all part of the normal market, guys. Look how oversold we were there. So we're basically just kind of resetting that those RSIs and getting back into normal territory here, as you guys can see there. Alrighty, guys, up next, we got what you've all been waiting for trade setups for the week. If you guys are enjoying this video, if you're finding value in this video, make sure to subscribe, guys. Make sure to hit that like button and share it. Make sure to also turn on those post notifications so that every time we post up a new video, you're notified and you able to catch those trades because sometimes these trades happen fast. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So on Bitcoin, this is what we're going to be watching this week. These are the entries we're going to be looking at um, the next few days. So um, the first thing is if we, we go back down, we're watching very closely this 61.8% Fibonacci level. All right, that's um, right in line with this support here where we had that bounce last time. It's also in line with 30K, okay? So all that's grouped there together. Um, so it gives us a good reason to look for a high probability long setup um, there. It gives us a good reason to uh, expect a lot of buyers coming in there and to expect a bounce, right? So of course, the way we're entering it, we're not trying to catch it, the drop. We're trying to catch the bounce guys. Always we're, remember anytime we're, we're looking at support entries, we're never entering on, on a drop like this. We're entering once it bounces back up. So that's the first entry that we're looking at this week. If we go back down to test it, as you guys can see, we've already tested it um, in the, in the event that we go back down and test it again. Um, we'll be looking for a bounce back up and that's a trade that we would buy. Okay. The second entry here that I would tell you guys is, um, a little bit of a safer play. Um, so this would be a breakout entry. I would look to enter a breakout entry above 35 K, which is just around above this candle right here. This is also the 38.2% Fibonacci level. So, um, so we like that level there. 35 K is also a big whole number. Um, so it is definitely a good spot for a breakout entry for anyone looking for that. Any theorem, very similar guys. We will be looking for entries testing this 61.8% Fibonacci level. Remember that guys, that is the golden ratio. Um, and that is where most of retracements like to bounce. So we're playing that level. As you guys can see, there's a bounce there. And then on this one, we're going to play the 0.5 or the 50% Fibonacci level, which you can, you guys can see here. It was a support and resistance here. And you guys can see here, there was a bounce there. And now we're currently testing it as resistance. So on this one, I like that $1,000 entry. It's also that big whole number as, as I told you guys earlier. So I like that. Plus it's on a Fibonacci level. Plus it's, it's proven to be a lot of, of, of buyers and sellers in that area. So that breakout entry that we're going to be looking for in Ethereum is going to be that 38.2% Fibonacci level, which also coincides with that 1100, um, 
Ethereum level. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of price action there. So that's definitely another spot I'm going to use. Uh, as you can see, there were there were bounces there before, and there's been a lot of price action on over here and over here. So I will be using that as an entry, as a breakout entry there. It's also right above this candle right here. So I like that. Um, so that'll be the next breakout entry that we're looking at this week. And from there, we expect a test of um, this Fibonacci level right here, which is the 23.6%, which is also that 20, 1200 level. And um, we expect to test this uh, yearly high and then we expect to test the all time high here for Ethereum. So that's what we're watching in Ethereum this week. That wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys took down notes and wrote these trade setups down so that you can you guys can possibly take these trade setups um, this week and make some profits when we get that bounce back up. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking a little bit about how to buy the dip in situations like this. We're going to talk about the proper way to do it and uh and we'll dive more into that so stay tuned for that guys stay strong hold those positions hold that bitcoin and um we'll be back with you guys tomorrow as always peace and love